Welcome back to the final quarter. Bannock Burn and Eastern Suburbs. Second semi final of the winner to go through to the GDFL grand final for 1996. The loser to play Thompson next week, and it looks like they might be the arch rivals and the neighbours next week in the preliminary final. The way it's going 41 points of difference at three quarter time. Bannock Burn 16 12, 108. Lead Eastern Suburbs 10 7 67. Yeah, it could well be, Jase. Uh, still, you know, they've. Uh, Injuries are a big part of uh, country footy, and uh, these sides rely on probably the top six or seven players. And when you've got a couple of those players uh, carrying injuries, uh, it makes it very awkward. And uh, I'm not sure how Thompson have pulled up. I've, I've, I've oh, well, I can tell you, Christian McFarlane hasn't pulled up too well, and Andrew Atchison hasn't either. I've saw them, seen them walking in at half time when we were downstairs, and uh, well, they're not looking too good. Start of the final quarter, umpire um, Chasson has the ball, and. Troy Shaw and Andrew Roy to do the ruck work. Roy goes up, big thump away, and gets a free kick for interference there from Troy Shaw. There's a bit of niggle in the game, too, in the last 15 minutes of the third quarter, and started already here with Troy Shaw just going straight into Roider. And now the big ruckman to start something for the suburbs. He goes with his right boot long towards centre half forward, looking for his brother in front. Good mark to Nathan Rose. Stood tall, took the mark, played on quickly, got out towards a wing. Corrigan and Rundle back on the ground. Corrigan, did he take the mark? Yes, he did, and got off a slick handball towards Flanagan. Oh, good lead, Ronnie Pilgrim. And has had a very good game, Ronnie. Goes, kick smothered, goes towards Troy Shaw. Well, it wasn't smothered. He just went vision-wise yeah, towards centre half forward. It, looked, it was a, quite an unusual kick, wasn't it? He kicked it across his body. He did, and then he goes towards, Troy Shaw goes towards Andrews, free kick for a push, and it's going to go to Bannock Burn. Andrews couldn't take the mark on the first attempt. One thing I do like about Shane Andrews, too, uh, among uh, many other things, that he's leading the goal kicking and all that, you notice when he, when he dropped the mark, how he got up and he went straight back at the ball and committed his body, and that's why he's got the football now, because uh, the player, the defence was just a little bit loose and uh, tackling wasn't the best, and... Uh, it was a definite free kick to him for uh, a push in the back or a high tackle, whatever you like. And uh, he'll come in for goal number seven. It's for goal number 96 for the season. And I think he's just snuck it in, has he? For one behind. Six goals, three. <laughs> he's kicking well. Hasn't been uh, the best part of his game today, really, has it? No, well, of that 6-3, he's uh, probably missed another three shots where he's kicked the ball either out of bounds or nowhere near the goal face. So Robottom to kick in at the God at the city end of Godfrey Street goes to the member side looking for uh, to the outer side looking for Loughton. Irving roved well off the front of the pack. Rundle heard the call from O'Leary and gave the ball to him over his shoulder. He runs away from half back and goes in towards Murray. Can he take the oh, mark? Wow. Yes, he can in front of Henderson. He's still on the wing position. He goes push it up towards Reuter in front Rose and well there was a hold there on against Nathan. Against Robbie Reuter on Nathan Rose, and Rose will take the free kick at half back on the outer side. They're kicking to the sun. He's looking into it as he kicks. He goes towards the wing. Corrigan makes a lead for him and takes a good mark in front of Rundle at pace. Couldn't stop the mark. So just on the defensive side of the wing, Corrigan. College is short, but he elects to go longer. Loughton over the back. Big thump away. Collins rove the pack. Handball to O'Leary on the wing. Bit of time to set something up. Left foot kick towards Lang. Push oh. from Hewitt there. Straight in the back. And Peter Lang at half forward. The lead's on from Morrow. He goes in that direction and he puts it up high. Della Hunt from behind. That wasn't a push. That was a mark. Well, Ron Brain says it was a push, but it's not. And it comes from Rose to Matty Pilgrim. He's wrapped up handball back to Rose. The one, two at half back. Goes in board. Good kick to. And he's got Corey Flanagan in the middle. He plays on quickly. He had Wayne Colliger, but he elects to go wider to Ronnie Pilgrim. Can't take the mark. Running off there, Hobbs now from half back. Right foot kick short towards Falston, but Wentworth's going to be able to have it and run away too. Short little kick to Ronnie Pilgrim. He's going to get it this time, and he's got Wayne Colliger. Gets around row bottom. Now he draws a play, gives it a winner. Lang coming at him. He gives it back to Ronnie Pilgrim. He runs inside 50 now. Goes long with a kick, and has kicked the goal. Reuter getting back there. Oh, Andrews went up, and one behind to Ronnie Pilgrim. That would have been the goal of the day had he kicked that. Two goals, four to Ron Pilgrim this afternoon. 16, 14, 110. Eastern Suburbs, 10, 7, 67. Just didn't quite carry enough. Great Western Hotel final quarter scoreboard. We've been going four minutes in the final term. Smith, the kick in, goes wide to Rowbottom, and he takes the mark in front of Ronnie Pilgrim. Rowbottom, in board to Fulson, or oh, chopped off easily by Troy Shaw. Poor kick by Rowbottom. And Troy Shaw will have a chance to kick his first goal this afternoon. From 
from about uh, 45 metres out, 50 metres out. Hate to be hard on Daryl Rowbottom, but a man of his experience, you know, coming from the back pocket, you don't bring the ball into the corridor. Luckily for him, it's uh, uh, Troy Shaw has missed. But uh, Peter Lang out here that made the, uh, the other option at half back uh, was ignored, and uh, Pete wasn't very happy with the, the kick, I can assure you. Dylan Smith again from full back. Kicks it into the outer side looking for Lang. It's wide. Lang will be able to run onto it. If it sits, it does too. Right next to him, Hewitt. Gets a little kick away, gains 10 metres. But Corrigan's there, but he can't pick it up. Rundle can't either. Lang goes in hard. Boundary line beckons, and it's on the wing on the outer side. And it's going to be a boundary throw in. Five minutes gone to the final quarter. GDFL footy for 96 at Godfrey Street Oval. Thompson, second semi-final day for Bannockburn and Eastern Suburbs. Bannockburn at the moment uh, doing it comfortably, 44-point leaders. As Peter Lang was infringed with there by the big Bannockburn ruckman in Peter Moore, he'll get the free kick on the outer side centre wing. Now, not a lot of movement. Murray moves, but he's gone defensive to look very wide, so Lang just chips over the top to Danny Irving. Takes the footy at centre wing still, only gained a good uh, 15 metres. Now he kicks long up there, Rundle at half forward, knocked away there from by Corrigan. Well, good hand pass to Wentworth, threw it away. Oh, Henderson just used his bulk and then steadies and goes out wide. But, oh, Irving over the top takes a great mark. Danny Irving there. A dashing sediment for the suburbs. Or centre wingman, I should say. Kicks to centre half four. Delahunt ground level, though, uh, got the uh, ricochet off the pack. Kicks it to hurriedly to centre half forward, but Andy Broider takes the footy for the suburbs and drives them forward. Goes towards Clinton Shaw now. Right foot kick back to Wayne College. You can run onto it. And also Rowell through Shepherds for him. Fulston, though, stands in the middle. Picks up the footy, goes wide to Wembridge. Good kick. And he takes the mark in front of Butch Shaw at half back on the members' side. Wembridge now goes towards Lang. Hewitt right next to him. Rose in front. Good tap away by Lang de Reuter, who roved the pack. Allison leads through him. He goes in that direction. From behind, good mark, Allison. At pace, took a good mark in front of Broad. Yeah, good footy. Good build-up there. Good roving from Robbie Reuter. And uh, a nice kick from him to the leading Justin Allison. Let's have a look. He's kicked 2-2 this afternoon, the 17-year-old spearhead for the suburbs. He's kicking from 45 metres directly in front. The drop putt. He's just hooked it slightly. And the ball holds up in that slight breeze. And a nice mark again. Nathan Rose doing well in defence for the Tigers. Cool in the crisis. Finds Sir Winter. Loose. Over the top he goes to the run of Corrigan. He's got no one within 25, 30 metres of him. He's had two bounces. Hand pass. A beauty. Over the top to Wentworth. The chicken hawk. Left foot kick. Uh, just drops short. Allows Loughton to come in. Picks it up, hand passes, intercepted by Wentworth. Goes back in after it, but likewise McGough is there. He steals it from Wentworth, and uh, his hand pass couldn't find the target. Could have been a trip there on Corrigan, but play on's the call. Gave it across to uh, Butshaw. Now, oh, Ronnie Pilgrim, he's had a picnic out here this afternoon. Anticipated the hand pass superbly. Shoots it up looking for Andrews in the goal square and takes the easiest of marks. <laughs> Andrews just walked around 10 metres to try and get a better angle. Umpire Duthie will bring him around. And he walks around himself now, having lost that battle. He's right on the boundary line, kicking for goal number seven. And goal number 96, he goes in check side now, is it? Yes, it is, and he's missed. So six goals, four for the drainer this afternoon. And they've kicked four behinds in this quarter, Bannockburn. We've been going eight minutes. 16-16, 112, Eastern Suburbs 10-7-67. They haven't scored yet, the Suburbs. That's on the Great Western Hotel final quarter scoreboard. Kick in by Smith, finds Rowbottom in the back pocket, then goes wide to Loughton, but puts Shaw from behind. Big thump away. It's going to be a boundary thrown at half forward for the Tigers. Yeah, better defensive football there, Rowbottom. Got the ball now to half back. In between half back, centre wing. Good work there, Reuter. Thumps it towards centre wing, but uh, Winters there. Overruns it. O'Leary, good pressure. Angus Hewitt now picks up for the Tigers. Hand pass, no one in particular. It's now sharked by Corrigan at half forward. A lovely pass to centre half forwards, uh, Clinton Shaw, and he takes the footy. Looks up the ground. He's got uh, Roweth there and Fulston. 
Over the back of the pack there was Rowbottom. But, oh, good work, Roweth gets a quick kick at goal. The bouncing ball, though, was on the wrong side of the big stick. And, uh, again, another minor score for the Tigers. 16-17, 113, Bannock Burn Eastern Suburbs, 10 67 Great Western Hotel final quarter scoreboard. Rowbottom to kick in again goes wide to Fulston on the outer side on this occasion. Takes the mark. Plays on, goes towards Loughton coming across from centre. Back punch away by Clinton Shaw's good. And there's going to be a boundary throw in on half forward for the Tigers. We've kicked uh, five behind in this final quarter in the first nine and a half minutes. And Eastern Suburbs yet to score. Punch away towards McGough, who shepherds for Hobbs. Gets under his left boot, kicks it to a vacant wingman, wing position. Wentworth at pace, wrapped up by Rundle and... Also Irving, and going to be out of bounds again. He attacked that ball well, though, didn't he, Wentworth? He uh, hit the ball pretty hard, and uh, it stuck. But good pressure there from the suburbs forced the error, and it's out of bounds. Reuter, again, does well. Got it to O'Leary, who's all wrapped up there by the chicken hawk, Paul Wentworth, who said, gee whiz, up. I thought that was a pretty good tackle. How about the free kick? But uh, up by Chaston having nothing to do with it. Chaston now, the up by bounces down. Reuter again. Butchers there. Likewise, O'Leary. Well done. Hand passes out to Rundle. Rundle, though, he's uh, under pressure and uh, his hand pass to Peters wasn't quite effective, but he goes back in, Peters. Tries to kick off the carpet, but, but again, good teamwork there, Matty Pilgrim, to uh, Wentworth. Gets a chip to the centre of the ground, and away the Tigers go now. Winter. Hand pass to Ronnie Pilgrim. Oh. Sits well for him. Gives it across to Clinton Shaw, who goes bang from 40 metres. But again, Tigers just can't find the big sticks. Another behind a Bannock burn. 16-18, 114. Eastern Suburbs 10, 7, 67. We've been playing 11 minutes in this final term. And they haven't been able to manage a goal yet. The Tigers, they've done all the attacking. And Dylan Smith goes short to Peter Lang. Lang wide towards Loughton and Clinton Shaw. Loughton just stands his ground. Then can he take the mark at the second attempt? No, he can't. Clinton Shaw got a hand onto it. And it's out of bounds. Boundary throw in. Roy up, big thump away again, but nobody at the foot of the ball for the Eagles. Matty Pilgrim is, short little kick around the corner. Irving has to stand against two, but he does very well. Good recovery too. Got Luke Thompson and Murray coming. Murray now can take the mark. He's got Lang wide. He wants to move it on quickly. Oh, he pushed it too high in the air. And Hobbs comes out with Pilgrim. Hobbs can't take the mark. McGough roves, can handball, gets wrapped up. Then gets to the Hobbs and Murray. Oh, just under pressure there, the suburbs. And McGough very slow to get up. Favouring that knee again. Shaw taps it to the advantage of Rough Robbie. Gets the kick away hurriedly towards centre half forward. Shaw and also Loughton. Shaw does very well, keeps it in front of him. Look at Ronnie Pilgrim if he can get it over the top to him. Shaw now and Hobbs runs onto it. Now bounce towards Rowbottom and Loughton who getting back onto his right boot wide. Gordon Collins and Smith. And Smith. But Gordon Collins takes a good mark. At half back comes wide. Murray has to stand there now. Oh, Shaw interfered. No free kick. Comes towards Shorty Peters. He's wrapped up without the footy. And a hold. Free kick. And Shorty Peters. Goes onto his left. Goes towards centre half forward. O'Leary on the back. Taking a good mark is Corey Flanagan. Now look at Wayne Colliger in space. Rowbottom's going to come at him. And he's got Irving as well, but the kick is well weighted. Gets to college. Now, Ronnie Pilgrim up on the wing uh, at half forward. They've held him up well because uh, Luke Thompson's got back on Pilgrim. Wayne College on the wing. Still goes, though, Ronnie. And got in front of Luke Thompson. Took the mark and goes away onto his left. Kick long towards Roweth. And the boundary line. And the boundary line wins on this occasion. Troy College are back on the ground. And uh, Paul Smith just having a spell. College are looking a little bit proppy, likewise Roweth. So Bannockburn got their problems as well with injury. Boundary throw in Randy Reuter. Support there, Dylan Smith. Under pressure. Ooh, he could be pinged. Had an option, but didn't use it. And uh, was well tackled. But got the benefit of the uh, umpire in uh, Cameron Duthie. And he'll bounce down. 
about uh, 20 metres from the Bannockburn goal. And he roared up, sensibly taps it through for a minor score to the Tigers, who have uh, added seven points straight in the final term. And uh, the suburbs yet to open their account. We've been travelling nearly 15 minutes of the final quarter. Kick in by Rowe Bottom White to Smith. They'll be sick of, kick, sick of kicking in those two. Falston does well to get the ball away from Christian Shaw. Goes to Wembridge, measures the pass. Murray and Henderson. Henderson can't take the diving mark. Radford and Wentworth. Murray gets the ball from Radford. Can set something up now. Vision towards Lang. He can't take the mark. Now Rose is in at centre half back. Can handball over the top to Corrigan. Draws Thompson towards him. Handball. They've always got the numbers. One of them's Jake Hewitt. He runs with the right boot towards the lead of Roweth, but getting across there, row bottom. Draws a player, left hand handball over the top towards O'Leary. Gets away from Flanagan, then tackled. Luke Thompson runs at it, but he doesn't get it, and Hewitt does. Now he's wrapped up. Good tackle. Luke Thompson got support too. Row bottom, who runs down from half back and picks up the footy. Draws a player, handball over the top to Robbie Reuter at 50. Takes a bounce quickly, takes another one, runs inside 30. Can finish it off now with the first goal. It's a wobbly kick, but it's through. Well done. Good goal, Robbie Reuter. Kicks his second and about needed 11th goal for the Eastern Suburb side. And, uh, well, one forward movement, one goal, and that's just about as much as what Bannockburn have done in 15 minutes of football. Yep, Eastern Suburbs put the first goal of the final quarter on the board, 11-7-73. They trail Bannockburn 16-19, 115 on the Great Western Hotel final quarter scoreboard. And... Nearly 16 minutes gone in the final term. Don't forget local footy replay. This game will be played Monday night. So if you can get there, 7.30 at the Western. Local footy replay. Back to the centre. Good work this time. Troy Shaw got it to Flanagan, who kicks up there, finds Ronnie Pilgrim with strength, breaks the tackle of Rowbottom, runs to his 50, but uh, the kick a bit uh, off target. And uh, I think you'll find he's popped it out of bounds on the full. And uh, Alex is Fulston to get the penalty free kick for the suburbs. Lex to go long. Lovely kick, two out there looking for the high flyers. Lang, Reuter, taps it over to the run there of Radford but can't control the footy. And again, we'll see another throw in. Outer side of the ground, a good 60 metres from the Bannockburn goal, who look a little bit lethargic in this uh, final quarter. Boundary throw in, Shaw and Reuter. Kick. Away by Flanagan towards the fourth pocket. Was that a push in the back? Yes, it was from Gordon Collins. And it's going to go to Troy Colliger. He's having a rest in the fourth pocket. Came on the ground for Paul Smith. And Troy Colliger's kicked 1-1 this afternoon. Right on the boundary line, about 25 metres out. In the shadows over there, in the forward pocket. Goes to the right boot, and it's pretty close again, but I think he might have missed. Yes, he has. So one, two for him, and eight points for Bannockburn in the final term. You'd hate to think they'd be in a close game in the grand final. Yeah, exactly. Dylan Smith will need a new pair of boots, as will Rowbottom, kicking out in this final quarter. Goes short to Wembridge, short to Lang. It's OK, they're at half back now. Over the top to Radford. He's OK, then he's wrapped up. And Butch Shaw can't keep it in. Well, I thought the idea was right, uh, Peter Lang, because they had to try and break it up. There was nothing happening down here at centre wing to, to kick the ball to, so uh, Radford was probably the best option he had. It was well cold there. As we see now, the ball kicked forward by Reuter. Good work from the big ruckman for the suburbs. There's a high tackle, and Danny Irving gets the free kick uh, on centre wing and drive Eastern Suburbs into attack. Looking for Murray. Reuter at the back of the pack. Knocked away, though, from him. Good work there, Nathan Rose. Uh, Hewitt goes back in after it, over the top of uh, young, <laughs> young Peters. And uh, <laughs> helped up there by, by Cameron Duthie. Quite a friendly gesture from him. <laughs> bounce down. Ball bounce by umpire Duthie. Shorty Peters, big thump away towards half forward. Colliger and O'Leary. Colliger falls over. Flanagan gives Wentworth the footy. Goes with his left boot long. Free kick down the field against Luke Thompson. And it's going to go to Stormy winner. He's got Troy Shaw in short at centre half forward. He can run on too. And Loughton comes at him. He goes with his right boot. And it's wide again. And another behind, is it? No, it's out of bounds on the full. At the behind post. And Dylan Smith with the free kick. Goes wide, looking for Irving, and he takes a good chest mark to in front of Wayne Colliger. 
at half back. Just to move it on quickly, goes over top to Loughton. Matty Pilgrim coming at him, but Loughton can stand. Oh, was that off? Well, he is now, is he? No, he isn't. He goes back. Lang inside, but he goes long towards Murray again with a sit. Too far away, though. Reuter at the front. Just paddles it underneath towards Fulston. His kick smothered, but it falls towards Luke Thompson. Quick kick by him. Long and bounces the wrong way for him. The right way for Broad and one behind. Luke Thompson back on the ground for the suburbs. Said, uh, been a long time since he's had a shot at goal. I'd suggest the normal back pocket player for, the, for them. 11 8 74, 16 20, 116 panic burn. Margin now stretched out to 42 points, which uh, is what uh, Dick Philpot predicted. But Dick has just mucked it up because uh, Robbie Roy has popped through a lovely left foot goal from a little bit of indecision there from the Van Burn defence. Yeah, Alistair Broad played on and then got caught in there. And Robbie Roy to turn around to kick his third goal. And Eastern Suburbs 12th, 12 8 80. They trail Bannockburn 16 20, 116 on the Great Western Hotel final quarter scoreboard. 20 minutes gone in the final term. Okay, well, Bunny Burnt haven't kicked a goal. Will they kick a goal in the last quarter? That's the million-dollar question. They're good enough, but they're just having trouble at the moment. Well, they've had enough kick. shots, that's for sure. Reuter and Troy Shaw push down towards Butch Shaw running through. Free kick found, high tackle. And Christian Shaw taking a very long time to get up. In fact, it's not Christian Shaw. It's Troy Colliger. Yeah, I think it might be Troy Colliger. Yeah, Corrigan's down in the forward pocket on Collins. So it could be Colliger. And Corey Flanagan's brought the ball over to the centre of the ground. And College is up now. Well, if College is up, isn't it his free kick? Yeah, well, I would have thought so. Well, Flanagan's gone wide to Hewitt. Hewitt now. Up towards, oh. Just poetry. It is, isn't it? He just went up on the side of the pack. Shane Andrews, eyes for the ball all the time. Great leap and took a good mark in, in amongst four players. Yes, a uh, good kick, though, from uh, Angus Hewitt as well, setting it, that up. But uh, initially, I didn't think uh, uh, Andrews was going to get there. But uh, as you say, it's poetry in motion. He made it look so easy. He just floated across the front of the pack and uh, took a ripper. Real Royce Hart stuff, isn't it? Andrews for goal number seven. And can he put the first one on the board? Thank goodness he has for Bannockburn. They've kicked one eight in this final term. And Andrews has kicked seven goals, four now. That gives him 96 for the season. Maybe he's probably saving the 100 for the big one, do you think? Well, he'd like to probably get as close as he can, finish off the 100 in the grand final, and then work a nice way to work it, away. It? 100 goals, premiership, cup, and it would taste pretty sweet, wouldn't it? I'm sure it would be. He'd be one of the favourites for the uh, best and fairest, I think, of the club, too. Yes, yeah, certainly. And uh, I can't believe Brett Revere, our uh, technician here, he's shaking his head, disagreeing with me. He thinks Thompson's going to win the grand final. Troy Shaw and Reuter back in the middle. Troy Shaw backhanded to Corey Flanagan. Had Corrigan on the outside, but good pass to Ronnie Pilgrim. Turns around onto his left. Short little kick in. Can't take the pass there. Was uh, Andrews. Comes out, though, to Clinton Shaw. Handball to Ronnie Pilgrim. Finish it off, Ronnie. He has done so on this occasion. And that's his third goal. And Bannockburn go to 18-21-28. And now eight goals in front of Eastern Suburbs, 12-8-80 on the Great Western Hotel final quarter scoreboard. We've been going 23 minutes in this final term. So after going 22 minutes without go a goal, two in a minute for two the Tigers. Yeah, exactly. It just took uh, Shane Andrews there to uh, just show them where the big sticks were and uh, they've followed suit with another very handy goal. And uh, the Tigers are doing it comfortably here at Godfrey Street Oval in the GDFL second semi-final for 1996. They're sitting on 18-20-128. Eastern Suburbs, 12-8-80, back to the centre. Up they go, down she comes. Reuter does well. Tyler Seffert. Yeah, got day. a high tackle there. Yeah, high tackle, but a uh, little backhander there to uh, Flanagan. Now, the umpires is coming in to have a chat to Flanagan. 
He's going to give him 50 metres. The book hasn't come out because there was nothing in it. It was just a little friendly tap on the <laughs> chin. But uh, you've got to be a bit careful because, I mean, if the umpires, uh, you know, felt like it, he could have pulled the book out because there was contact made. Exactly. But umpire Chaston thought better of it. Royden now from 40 metres out. Comes in and there's a good kick too from the Ruckman. Up there, Lang, high tackle. Went up for the mark there and... Well, it was virtually a mark for mine anyway. Yep. So Peter Lang will have the ball going for goal number three. And once again, hasn't been the standout player that he was last week, but uh, has had a few friends this afternoon after the first quarter. Unfortunately, Bannock for Eastern Suburbs. Bannock Boone just got on top, and I think he's... Well, he's nearly missed that. Oh. Just snuck in. Well, I think I need to go to the optometrist too then. Yeah, I thought it was a point. I thought he kicked it over the, the goal post. Pretty uh, poor old effort there, Peter Lang, but the umpire said it went through, so uh, he gets credited with three goals this afternoon. And uh, Eastern Suburbs 13th, they moved to 13-8. 86, they uh, trailed Bannockburn 18-21-28. Margin back to 42 points, and uh, Dick Philpott would be pretty pleased. Yes. He's the accurate one again, eh? Yeah. Let's hope somebody can key a goal. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to hear about that all week. Back to the centre now. Troy Shaw and Reuter. Flanagan goes up with a ruck. Smith in the middle now as well for Easton Sobes. Gets away. Back into his right boot. Wrapped up by Flanagan. Handball back to Reuter, the ruckman. Runs through the centre now. Can set something up with his right boot. Goes long to Allison. Uses the body well. Can't take the mark. Broad runs through without the footy. Allison buttering up again. Good work by the big man. Handball <coughs> out towards uh, Thompson. Rap, ripped off the ball. Getting back there. Della Hunt in the last line of defence. Handball underneath. And a safety to the boundary line for him. Rowbottom back at full back for Eastern Suburbs now on Andrews. Boundary throw in. Henderson, Lang over the back, Flanagan. Falls to the front of the pack. Pilgrim off the ground. That's Matty. And out of bounds again. Gains about 10 metres. About 40 metres out from the Eastern Suburbs goal now. <coughs> and Open Grove by 10 goals. So doing it easy against uh, Anglesey in the second semi final in the Ballerine. O'Leary, Hamble have the top to Thompson. It didn't bounce well for him. Hewitt, can he get around O'Leary? No, he can't. O'Leary did well. Falls to Robbie Roy to handball in front of him. Tries to keep it in front. Too close to the boundary line, though. And out of bounce. So close to siren time here. 27 minutes gone. And Eastern Suburbs 13, 8, 86. Burn 18, 21, 28. Boundary throw in. Henderson to the front of the pack. Hewitt again. Now he gets away. Onto his right boot. Measures the kick out wide, but it's too wide out of bounds on the full. It's going to be a penalty free kick to Radford outside 50 metres. Goes short towards Dylan Smith, and he takes the mark. The lead's on from Reuter. Good kick out in front too, and he takes the mark. He's kicking from 50, though. Probably beyond his distance. Looking for a lead. Now it's coming. Lang, good kick too. Just measured the pass beautifully in amongst four Tigers. And Peter Lang took the mark going for goal number four. Yes, yeah, not a bad effort from uh, the veteran. Could set up there Robbie Reuter and uh, Rick Humphrey. They're just hobbling past the uh, Curry position. The Tiger, or Thompson Tiger, half forward flanker. And uh, he just said the ankle's coming. Good, Rick Humphrey. Okay. Well, it needs to improve a bit more, I'd suggest, as Lang comes in now from 35 metres. The drop punt, it looks pretty good from here. Yes, the two fingers are raised. Four goals, Peter Lang. Fine personal effort here this afternoon. And uh, Eastern Suburbs, 14th. 14, 14 8, 92, Eastern Suburbs, Bannockburn, 18, 21, 28. Great Western Hotel final quarter scoreboard and 36 points of difference. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> 28 and a half minutes gone in the final term. Back to the centre now. Troy Shaw and Reuter again. Good bounce. Reuter gets it down towards Radford. Chopped off by Matty Pilgrim, though. He runs at it at pace and picks it up. Right foot kick the leads on from Andrews. And that's just textbook football there out of the middle. 
It becomes a bit boring, isn't it, in the end, because they do it so easily. Oh, yeah. And uh, I don't know how Thompson are going to stop the run. More eastern suburbs. Or eastern Again. suburbs, for that matter. Mm. Well, Andrews has gone back to half forward. And <laughs> yes, it's a mammoth run. <laughs> Kick seven this afternoon for 96. This is for 97, and he's missed it. So one behind. He's kicked seven goals, five this afternoon. So if he had a kick straight... 7-5 for so the if afternoon. If he had a kick straight, he would have the 100. He certainly would have. Kicking by Smith. Goes short to Reuter in the back pocket. Member's side. Pushes it long towards Lang. And at the back, Flanagan. Falls to the front. Hobbs can't take it with him. Wembridge too. Worked hard. Gave it to Loughton. He's wrapped up. Can't get rid of the footy. He's over the top now, and up by Duthy to come in and bounce the ball at half forward for the Tigers. And Troy Collager, <laughs> bit of cramp there. Being helped by Butch Shaw. And it's not going to matter much now because it's a siren. And, well, it's... Bannock Burn into the 1996 GDFL Grand Final, 1821, 129. Eastern Suburbs 14892 in that final term. Bannock Burn kicked two goals, nine. And Eastern Suburbs kicked four goals, one, to make the margin uh, 36 points at the final siren. In fact, uh, it's 37 points at the final siren. That's it. Yep, 37 points. The goal kickers for Bannockburn will seven to Shane Andrews, three to Clinton Shaw, and three to Ron Pilgrim. Singles to Troy Colleger, Richie Corrigan, Wayne Colleger, Stephen Winner, and Darren Roweth. While for Eastern Suburbs, Lang kick four, Robbie Roy to kick three, two to Justin Ellison, and singles to O'Leary, McGough, Rowbottom, Loughton, and Murray. So a 37 point victory to. Uh, Bannockburn into the grand final and next week's preliminary final will again by the neighbours Thompson and Eastern Suburbs here at Godfrey Street now uh, some better players Ron and your three two and one well I mean what a, what a crackerjack uh, opening to the game from the Eastern Suburbs point of view I mean uh, certainly Bannockburn have come out 37 point victors here this afternoon in being the better side on the day but the way the Eastern Suburbs side started off to how far Suburbs. They kicked four goals in that first quarter before Bannockburn opened their eyes and I thought, well, you know, they've got their match here. But then as the game progressed, uh, it was uh, early in the second quarter, at the five, six minute mark, as uh, Billy Caldo, the president of the Bannockburn Footy Club, looking very pleased with his charges and uh, just uh, put the thumb up to me and said, yes, we're there, Ronnie. And uh, I'm very pleased for Bill. But... Uh, well, it's funny how football goes, because uh, about five, six minute mark of that second quarter, I think it was Ronnie Pilgrim that started the rot when he kicked a beauty. And then they started, Benny Burn. They kicked uh, nine goals in that second quarter to two. And uh, they went in at uh, half time with a very handy 29 point lead after uh, trailing by 19 points, Benny Burn. And uh, a real turnaround. And after that, the game virtually. Uh, Except for the last quarter when Eastern Suburbs have outscored them, uh, Danny Burton did it comfortably in the end, 37 point lead. Uh, victors. Uh, better players, first of all, for the Bannockburn side, uh, had a number of players that I uh, felt contributed throughout the day. Early on, Matthew East and Tiddy was carried from the ground, and I hope that he's okay. But uh, it appears an ankle injury, but uh, it could be an eye injury now. We're not sure. But uh, they did call for a doctor at half time because uh, he was having problems with one of his eyes. So let's hope that he's okay. And if it's uh, if it's not that serious, he might be right for two weeks' time. And I'm sure Banny Byrne would be hoping that he, he would uh, come back because he had a great first first half, really. Corey Flanagan and Butch Shaw were brilliant early stages. Second quarter, I think the turning factor also was in the centre of square when Peter Moore, who I thought was uh, the big young ruckman that uh, Banny Byrne have uh, given the opportunity to... Uh, late stages of the season uh, the rookie has come in and I thought he was a bit soft in that first quarter obviously spoken to at quarter time by Stormy Witter just to make a bit more of a contest of it and uh, he did so and I thought he was their best player that second quarter with Troy Collager and Ronnie Pilgrim running ragged at, at uh, half forward and uh, after half time that continued Butchaw, Robbie Henderson 
Ronnie Pilgrim. I mean, it was terrific. They had plenty of players that you could mention. But the upshot of the whole day, after uh, the suburbs were uh, well set up by Craig McGough, Peter Lang, Justin Allison, Peter Grosanowski, I mean, he was a sad loss when, they, when he went off in that second quarter with an injury. Mickey O'Leary was terrific all day. Brett Loughton, another fine player. Yeah, 3 2 and 1, Jace. It's pretty tough. But uh, I've gone this way, and I'll be probably criticised for it. But I'm going to go Butch Short. I'm going to go Ronnie Pilgrim. And uh, I'm going to apologise to. Uh, say a Brett Loughton here because I'm going to give the one vote to Shane Andrews even though he's kicked 7-5 uh, probably should have kicked 10 but uh, you know in a, in a second semi they're pretty tough games to win but uh, I thought that uh, Bannockburn deserved the way they played as a team to get the three votes here this afternoon and uh, Shane Andrews the one vote and uh, apologies to Brett Loughton Okay so Clint Christian Shaw, Ron Pilgrim, and Shane Andrews for Ronnie. Well, I've gone the same three, but in a different order. I went for, Did you? I went for Shane Andrews, one vote. As you said, 7-5. He kicked 7-5 and two, two out of bounds, or maybe three out of bounds. So he's had 15 shots at goal. Mm -hmm. So he should have probably finished off a little bit better and could have had 10 or 12 goals, could have had the 100 up today. But still, you know, some of his marks were just, you know, breathtaking. And he certainly is the key to their forward line. And uh, with seven goals, one vote. Christian Shaw, I gave him two votes. I just thought he faded a little bit in the final Certainly. term. Uh, I've given three votes to Ronnie Pilgrim. Good I thought idea. he started. Well, I the, probably should have too because I thought it was a great game. I thought he started the uh, the started the guys in the first in the first five minutes, as you said, in the, of the second term, and just kept going all day and just broke away so many times on that half forward flank across the day. And uh, he's finished with uh, three goals for himself and probably given off a couple more as well. So I've given him three votes. That's a great call. That's the, one of the best calls uh, that you've done all day. It was interesting when we had a uh, the headset flying through the commentary position here earlier that uh, I wasn't sure how you were going to call that, but we probably left it the way it should have been unannounced, and uh, that's about all it deserved. But uh, to all our... 94.9 guest video uh, FM comments uh, <laughs> listeners hope you've enjoyed it here this afternoon the kick by kick description it's all happened up here in the box this afternoon and on behalf of the team thanks again for another fine guest video production Baddick Bird going out 37 point uh, victors don't forget local footy replay you blokes either Monday night be there or be square at the Great Western Hotel best on ground Ronnie Pilgrim he's old as me but I tell you what what, he, what a player he, start, he turned the game from this afternoon, Ronnie Pilgrim. Congratulations to you, Ronnie. And uh, I'm sure he'll uh, really enjoy drinking out of that lovely Apco Easy Shop glass taken on Monday night at the Great Western. So, Ron Pilgrim 3, Christian Shaw 2 and Shane Andrews 1 for our guest video player of the day. Bannock Burn to the grand final, 18-21-129. Have defeated Eastern Suburbs 14-8-92. Uh, the final score there. So, Eastern Suburbs and Thompson into the preliminary final. Big our, rap, big rap yeah, for the men in white. Cameron Duthie and David Chaston did a good job this afternoon. We didn't bag them at all, which was bad luck. Tim Medley and Andrew Pop joined on the band. in the girls, Mark Gray and Tim Cole. Our emergency Simon Flowers. We didn't see much of him this afternoon either, which was good to see. And, uh, well, don't forget to join us if you're uh, around the ground on 94.9 Guest FM. Next Saturday afternoon, we'll be on Country FM for the preliminary final, Eastern Serves and Thompson. But f that's all for now from Godfrey Street, second semi-final day. Bannock burn through as the big winners.